Okay, so I've been asked to provide some images and pictures. Um, this is what the, looks like the Watts that we're pulling. It just has the light bulb on, on the refrigerator. This is the back, I'm oh, sorry. Um, there's the back and uh, a model and uh, everything. Uh, this was covered in rust pretty bad. So I've been sanding on it a little bit at a time, not getting too crazy with it. Um, the service port was pretty rusty, but it came undone pretty well. Uh, that's gunky rusty. The way it sounds, that's all expected. Not sure if I should try to get that rust out of there or not. Maybe just put oil on it to stop the rust. Um, anyway, so this is the front of the unit. Got the uh, foot pedal down there, and uh, I've cleaned this up. It was pretty bad. I still got some polishing to do on it. I think I'm going to leave it that color. It's got the screws in the side of it. I'm not sure if this is supposed to be with this model or not, but there's screws all the way down it. It's, it's going to be back up a little bit. As you can see, I'm not sure if those were added on after the fact. Um, hinges are in really good shape. Um, and there's the inside. There was a label here. I've taken it off because it was, um, I'd say, 99% intact with a couple of little tears. Uh, so I still have it. Um, I don't know what to do if I should try to put that back on. Um, ice trays came from a different unit as well as the uh, bucket. This shelf and this shelf here, this this shelf and this drawer came with this unit, but we're not exactly sure if it's supposed to be with the unit or not, or how that works. It needs to be cleaned up a little bit. Other than that, it's in pretty good shape, I think. So let's turn it on. So we'll listen to the startup. Set on about medium. This is the unit that runs. Uh, so far and has been able to freeze ice. So here we go. So far everything is cool on this one. Again, this is the one that works. There's some heat right here showing up on the top here. Around this unit, there's some heat all through these fins. Very cold up here. The inside part right here Starting to chill a little bit. Oh, let's see. You can kind of hear it gurgling. I believe that's called boiling. I'm not an. I'm not a. Uh, I'm an electrical engineer, but I'm not anything. Uh, this is still cool. I'm getting warmer out here. I've, I've just let you know. I've looked at this cord pretty closely. As best I could, and it, while it's melted on the outside, um, the inside right here, this the inside cloth is intact. This is this is safety hazard here, but anyway, the um, the cord itself looks good on the inside of this insulation, the plastic insulation. So it looks like the outside's melted. I looked it all over and it doesn't have any bare spots that I can tell. I am being very gentle with it and not uh, touching it and bending it as much as I can. I do plan to replace it. So this is really cool right now. You can see the frost is starting to form on it. Again, this is warm. So under the touch, I have a thermometer here. So we're going to put the thermometer in. It's currently at... But 
Come on, you can do it. My new phone is not, there you go. Uh, so it looks like it's about 76. I'd say 76 by my eyes. Okay, we'll stick this in the ice tray. Again, warming up, still cool. We have it set on about midway point on five. And um, again, you can see the frost is forming. So we'll let it go. Anyway, we're gonna check the wattage, uh, kilowatts. So looks like it's pulling 250 watts. I would say, um, by this meter. Anyway, I'm not sure that doesn't seem like a lot, but we'll have to go back and reference. This is the back of the unit as we walk towards it. Um, the other video, I will have the starting up on it. So it's been running for about five minutes. There's the back tag, and then the serial number is over here. I believe this top has been painted. Uh, so this is, let's see if I can get this on the right way with the video but i think the i believe the top part up here might have been painted because it was some greenish paint so i think this has been painted it's got a little rust damage i've been sanding on it a little bit to see what i got going on but i think this might be original over here because uh, it's a lot harder to move remove um, but there's been something added to it, like a greenish tint on there. Um, and this was all rusted up when I started kind of like that in there. Anyway, so uh, it's been running for about five minutes. And um, there's the handle, pretty good shape, the foot pedal down there. Um, and the front of it. I tried to polish this. It was kind of really, it was silvery color, but it was very... Very, very rusted and tarnished, and but I just touched it a little bit and it started getting off the, I guess, the silver plate. So I just kind of polished it all. I'm not sure how I'll ever make it silver plate again. But after, still, still calm, gotten frost all the way down here, cold all the way around. We started out at 76, we're down to 74 within a couple minutes. So we'll let that run and come back in about a half an hour. All right, so it's been about a half an hour. We are at 168 watts. And uh, the motor's still running, I think about the same as it was before. This is warm to the touch, but not hot. Sure, sorry, warm to the touch, but not hot. And by the way, you can see that paint's kind of crackled a little bit. But it sands down really smooth as soon as I hit it with the sandpaper. Um, so I'm not sure if I should strip all that off or just sand it. Not really sure. The rest of it's porcelain. This top seems painted, but it's very, very hard. Anyway, so back up here. This is getting warm to the touch, too. I would say it's gotten to be equal to the rest of the head unit. Am I zoomed in? Nope. All right, so what do we got going on in here? We got pretty good frost build up on that tube. Well, this tube is cold. And now the tube's back there. Sorry if I'm moving around a lot. You can see that tube there is kind of going about halfway maybe. Me almost to the bend with frost but it's not on that side yet that's got some condensation temperature in the freezer department is looks like 25 of course camera's not picking it up because it's got condensation on it and of course now I'm holding it so it's going up more it was about 25 I don't have any water in it to freeze, but I know it'll freeze. So I've done this is the one I used before. So we'll let it run for a little while longer. Again, set on about five. 
So, so after about an hour, we are down to. Of course, you can't see it. About 20 degrees, and things are getting pretty frosty in the freezer. Ice box or the freezer part. Good frost there. And you can see that line is about three-fourths of the way. It's pretty frosty. It's been about an hour and a half. Still running. This is warm. This up here is, a, I would say, a bit hotter. Warm on the, around the cooling of the fins there. And we'll click through this. And we're down to, what, 15 maybe? In the refrigerator. And frost is still at the same place on that back line. None coming in there, as far as I can tell. Um, coming up that one small tube, almost to that intersection up in there. You can kind of see it. I don't know if it's really getting closer. So, all right. Hey, anyway, so we'll leave that run. Okay, it's about 10 p.m. Kilowatts are at 160. All right, I guess that's watts, 160 watts. Isn't that right? Let me see it. Yet again, it says 160 watts. And I believe the compressor is running over here on the machine. That's my other project, if you're wondering. That's an old stove, and that's another antique stove. We're going to try to fix that up. So. Feels like the compressor is running. Warm. That is a lot warmer, um, but not hot enough to burn my hand. I don't know how I can tell how hot it is. Anyway, let's go look at the inside. You hear it kind of gurgling. Let's see. I guess it's normal. So this is the temperature in the refrigerator part. So it's down to 30. It might be set a little bit too low. And then that's the freezer part. You can see there's a little bit of frost on that back line. And then the frost on that part goes up to there. So I guess that's good. I don't know. So, you hear the noises. Anyway. We're going to shut it down for the night. I don't want it to run all night.